It's me again. Um, no rest for the wicked. But Pedro the Parrot has surfaced. And how the fuck can I ignore that? Do you know what I mean? I'll turn the projector off, the football off and everything uh, to uh, to speak to you about this. So I was just sat at my, uh, my, uh, my desk here where I do a little bit of work. Uh, just, um, you know, putting that video on about uh, Arnie's slot, Arnie's slot, um, where he's fucking gone, uh, saying that he'd like to manage Liverpool, basically. And within 19 minutes of those quotes coming out, um, Pedro de Parrot surface. So do you want to hear what he's got to say now? I'm going to miss him, mate. I don't know about you. Are. When he first came out, when I was like, what a plant pot. Do you know what I mean? Then I started to like him a little bit, like, do you know, I don't know, I'm going to miss him. Anyway, Pedro Sepulveda, he has said the following. Now, let's you know, let's just see if we believe him, right? He says, LFC informed Ruben Amarim agent, Ruben Amarim's agent, that they will not pay £10 million net per year and the Portuguese coach doesn't want to accept less than that. The deal can collapse. And then he's put, the next days will be decisive, followed up by no chance to go to West Ham. Well, that's the thing. He was never going to go to West Ham, was he? Do you know what I mean? That was just a part of the game. And it's backfired. It's backfired, Pedro. It really has. Um, do, I, do I think that Liverpool informed Ruben Amarim's agent that they will not pay £10 million net per year? Do I think that? Yes, I do think that. I reckon that's true. Uh, Pedro de Parra obviously is connected to uh, to Costa, um, Amarim's agent. Um, I don't think you dismiss everything that Pedro says. I think from the start of his, when this guy first surfaced, right, I said just be a bit cautious about him, you know. He obviously uh, has the communication and contact with the agent. But in between those updates from the agent, he was putting out other bits and pieces to raise his profile, I think. All right. Uh, but this, I believe, however, uh, is putting that out 19 minutes after uh, Slot's comments have come out, right? So it does look like he's looked at that and thought, fucking hell, I need to backtrack really quick, doesn't it? It does, it does look like that. That's how it would appear. Um, however, that doesn't mean that Liverpool haven't said, look, we're not paying the 10 million a year. And I, and I reckon that's what's happened, guys. I do. When Liverpool's conveyed that, who knows? Uh, maybe that was yesterday when that Joyce article was, um, was edited. Uh, you'd have to go back in the videos to watch them, but there's no point. I wouldn't fucking torture yourself, to be honest. Um, anyway, so Pedro de Parra, LFC informed Ruben Amarim's agent that they will not pay £10 million net per year and the Portuguese coach doesn't want to accept less than that. The deal can collapse uh, and the next days will be decisive. There you go. I think uh, it's all coming to uh, to an end now, fortunately. Um, I, I just cannot see uh, how Liverpool and Feyenoord will not reach an agreement. I can't, guys. I mean, yeah, anything can happen in football, honestly. Um I think I made a video today saying, uh, could Ruben Amarim still become the manager of Liverpool? And I said, until anything's signed on the dotted line, then yes. However, you know, we need to, you know, if news comes out, uh, you know, from Feyenoord, well, <laughs> Feyenoord is, is on a slot, right? You know, then that kind of ends it in a way. Uh, and obviously, Slot has come out saying he wants to manage Liverpool. The club's are negotiating in his confidence. So that puts an end to it, I think. Um, if we haven't have heard those comments from, from Slot, I'd have said, let's see what um, Amrim's got to say at his, uh, his next press conference. You know, people are going to deny that he was ever, um, you know, a serious uh, consideration. I think the way everything's played out, you know, you don't get to see everything in the press. Um I, I believe everything that we've we've gone over recently is all played out and and I do believe that um Anna Slot Annie Slot is gonna be the main man. I do apologise if I'm a bit uh, I'm very tired guys. I don't know how many fucking videos have I done today, sixteen videos or something. I don't know. So anyway, 
That's it. I'm just, I can't wait till it's finished, guys. You know, let's hope that compensation. Can we have it just agreed tomorrow? Because if, it, you know, like if they get the news out tomorrow, that'd be really good because that means we'll be hammer him to his press conference when he says that he turned us down or some shit like that. Do you know what I mean? Uh, what a fucking going on. What a day. I can't, I, I don't want to do any more videos today. I'm off to bed. I might just turn my phone off. All right. Pedro the Parrot. Pedro the Parrot. Right, I'm off. He said, I don't know, I'm going to miss him. He, he's just one of them things, you know, that we're going to remember over the years, like Rick Parry's ties. Do you know what I mean? Uh, dear me. It's all fun and games, isn't it, guys? Anyway, listen, hopefully that's the last you've heard from me today. Can you imagine, if, if another video comes out from me tonight, man, shit your pants. That's what I say. Well, no, you just your pants. It'll be shit audios one way or the other. Right, I'm off. See you later. Thumbs up the video if you appreciate it. Drop me a comment, whatever. Are you going to miss Pedro? Let me know.